Okay, I've got something for you. The new parts have been fitted to the car. The simulation numbers are good, so look forward to your feedback. Check out the details. Hey, looks like you've got a bit of rivalry going on out there. This is good, gets people talking about you. Just make sure you outperform them, okay? So it was Daniel Ricciardo who got started off here at the Italian Grand Prix qualifying. And he set in a really good lap time here. He was in a slipstream with the Ferrari, which helped his time as well. He crossed down to a 120.8, set a brand new record at the Italian Monza circuit, but was later um, passed by Gutierrez for first place. So we tried to get pole position in our first lap, but we couldn't. We missed it by four tenths, but still went third, which was good. But on our final flying lap, we managed to grab pole position by just under one tenth. It was a good um, qualifying lap, but now let's head to the race. So here is your official Italian Grand Prix grid order for today. So we've got us on pole position who grabbed pole by just under a tenth of a 120.0, just missing out on the 1 19. Then comes Lewis Hamilton in third, then it's Perez, and then comes Hulkenberg, Daniel Kibia, then it's Daniel Ricciardo, Grosjean, the two Ferraris of Raikkonen and Vettel, then the two Williams of Massa and Bortas. Then comes Wehrlein, Carlos Sainz, Rio Harianto, Jensen Button, Max Verstappen away down the order there, but still only a second off, followed by Julian Palmer. Nasa, Ericsson, Magnussen and Fernando Alonso in the McLaren rounds off today's grid. So Fernando Alonso last there, so that was a wee bit um, embarrassing for him in the McLaren. But you can see now we've backed the pack up really good today, so it saves us waiting a long time on everybody lining up. So I think we're just about all ready here, actually, so that's... Um, Quite good, a good start there. So we are as we hit the five lights here at the Italian Grand Prix, and it's lights out and away we've go. We've done the clutch, and it's a good start off the line there. So you see, Hamilton's got a brilliant start as well, and he's on the attack from him. Um, you can see the hash drive, and there comes um, Perez down the inside. I believe he's Hamilton's going to try the move, but we're going to uh, cover him perfectly into the next corner there. I don't think he would have made the, the move in if he had the chance, but we're still on to lead. And Perez grabs, part, um, grabs second position from fifth. On the grid, brilliant start from the Mexican driver there, so brilliant start from Perez, so as you can see we're still leading as we come through into the end of the first sector now, should, should get a good gap and hopefully we can pull away reasonably as we now skip later on to that, oh my god, this is not going to end well. Oh no, and to the next corner we go, can we hold it? Well that's um, Hamilton and um, the force in their driver. Oh, they're going side by side there. It's onto the street they go. As, oh, we can see we have um, um, put a fast lap in. They've just crossed the line and they're miles behind there. They've cost really a lot of positions. As you can see, a lot of times you're saying, oh, no, this this is not going to happen. Into turn one we go. Hamilton's locked up. Oh, and the chaos is, oh, this mental, just absolute chaos at turn one. You could not see the same thing. Yeah, look what look at that. Come on. Gutierrez, you know, you shouldn't have went for that move. Perez tries for it, squeezes Hamilton, Hamilton up on two wheels. It remembers me back to Abu Dhabi from season two when Grosjean went up on two wheels. Um but yeah, Kavia getting bunched and he just couldn't turn much and he caused the mayhem. So Hamilton, massive lock up, gets hit up on two wheels, him mostly hit, goes pushes Perez into Kavia and then he's in the gravel. And now we've got a safety car deployed, guys, because it's not for that incident, it's for a certain incident. And that was a little, it was a weird one, to be honest. Pascal Wehrlein, his rear tyre just went on him, um, his rear tyre literally, it just got a puncher and it just slid him into the gravel. I don't think I've ever seen such a weird um, safety car deployment before, because look, they just goes into the gravel and I don't think he can get, well he can get out, but maybe the car's just too more damaged with the rear tyre to um, 
continues now skip lane on and um, this is just coming for a pit stop this is lap four under safety car conditions Perez is actually um, remember he was at the start he's going to get slowed down a lot and this could be a chance Hamilton's took the opportunity as well and he's pitted this lap as we come out the pits he's been a crucially a pit stop ahead of um, Sergio Perez which is a nightmare for the Mexican driver but yeah I'll see you when um, what do you call it I can't mind what was I going to say. I really can't mind what I was going to say there. But that was the next lap. This was um, Grosjean and all the other ones coming in for their pit stops. They've left it too late in there. So now skip later on. And to lap six. Now safety car is coming in at the end of this lap. And before we get going here. And it, sometimes I do forget to say what I'm saying guys. Hope you um, appreciate Even though if I do get my line wrong or whatever. It's still hopefully career mode's good from what I'm doing. And plus we hit 500 subscribers guys. Um, about weaving up the tyres there. Well, thank you so much for the 500 subscribers. We're at 515 already by then. The day we've got to get 15 a day. That's a new record, guys. I can't believe that. There'll be a new video coming out in the next um, tonight or either tomorrow morning about it on the next day. As you can see, we've backed them. Right. We've actually stopped on the circuit to back them up. But yeah, as I said, thank you for 500 subscribers. But now let's get back to the racing on career mode. You can see we have backed them right up so much. Let's take a view of all these cars. How close are they? Let's take a look. And oh, that, oh my god. That is a really, really close there. Yeah, but we've managed to get that start railed as we're away racing again. We've completely shredded that camera to pieces probably now. And Vettel, he's already got a good start. He's on the soft tyres there. So he might be under threat from Bottas by. And we've managed to get away at the start. Clean start. We're racing again here into turn one we go. Will there be any suicidal dives or any people taking dives in turn one with that long back straight? There, as you can see, we skip. This is um, Daniel Ricciardo down the inside of um, Grosjean. There, Haas drivers going at it as well. So the Toro also um, driver trying to get into the mix. But as we now skip later on to lap ten, now four laps, um, or should I say three laps later? And you can see we're coming for another set. Well, some set off the soft compound tyres. This should take us to the end of the race. We're going to take our tyres smoothly, and we should last to the end there. But Hulkenberg should get past us now. Yes, he will. Jensen Button is going to fly past us to Jensen Button. In second position, brilliant stuff there, but you can see there's cars flying on the street, they're battling away, and this could be very, very close with Roman Grosjean here. Yes, it is, but I tell you, we're not going to give this up, but can we get the brakes move in the next corner? Yes, we do, we don't break, but we're going to squeeze him so much, it's a little bit too much, and oh, there's going to be contact, and uh, just misses, no, he just misses, and then pushes us to the ground, and we could have been hit round there, and Grosjean tries to get us nice into the slipstream, can Grosjean mount an attack, he's on medium tyres, we're on the softer tyres, we're on the quicker, Compound tyres and plus we've got that extra engine power as we're still ahead of Grosjean. That was crucial there. Um, but yes, we now skip later on to lap 11. It's the same lap, should I say. It's mid lap 11. And we've got a safety car again from a weird incident this time. We're not a weird, but kind of not sure it be a safety car because as you can see from Daniel Ricciardo's point of view, we couldn't get an onboard camera. It was Kimi Raikkonen's engine. The Ferrari engine just blew up there and it's a safety car. But we managed to catch up to the pack a lap later. So luckily for that. But now the leaders are off pitting there and, and oh there's been a car stopped into the circuit and oh luckily that's been ghosted that would have been a horrifying question Hamilton stopped as well so we seem to have really bad glitches I don't know what's going on there but yeah as we now skip later on into lap 14 when the safety car is coming in it's left us, us in the lead we're followed by Bottas behind then comes the other volumes of Massa so it's a volumes 2 and 3 we're going to go a bit fast here, then we're going to back them up in just a second now. As you can see, that's what we're doing, we're breaking so hard. We're going to catch Bottas, and you can see he's almost going to the back of them. We've backed all pack up once again, he's just hitting us there. And we're going to wait till we go into this corner, and we're away racing again. Once again, with the second safety cars out, and it's now, and Bottas has got a really good... Um, start there, he's managed to get his reaction time a little bit better than Sebastian Vettel's before, but he's still um, far behind, he's going to get into the slipstream, it will help him, but I don't think it will much, but it might help him defend him from Felipe Massa, who's right behind him there, into turn one we go, will there be any incidents once again, we keep it smooth into the next corner there, and you can see they've got a whole train of cars behind, what will happen there, I don't think anybody's looking to take any risky moves, but as we now skip laying on to lap 18 now, um, we seem to have a yellow in sector 3, someone has went off there and oh there's been a massive shunt Grosjean is round Grosjean is round oh my god Grosjean isn't stranded in the middle of the circuit that is a dangerous and horrific thing to see Perez is out and he's stuck in the pits let's take a replay what happened there oh that is a massive shunt oh we need to see if Perez is okay Grosjean round there but oh Perez team radio check out are you okay check out are you okay yes. I'm okay man 
So lucky Perez is okay there. He sounded a bit cautious on the radio, and oh, his rear tire came flying off. Hopefully, they didn't take take anybody out in the, the pitch there, like what happened in 2013 at Nuremberg with Mark Greber with the rear tire at the camera guy. That was really much. But it's now skip later on. Yellow in sector one because of Esteban's good Esteban Gutierrez's is Haas. His front engines went up in smoke there, so a real shame for him. And do you remember, guys, how I was on about the tire wear? Well, with only a couple of laps left, uh, how annoying is this? We've got a warning light on the tyres and at 86% guys. We wouldn't have made it to the end, the tyres would have been any time soon, but that's kind of, this is going to be our race changer now because look at that, we came in for a set of the super soft tyres and Hulkenberg on the medium tyres has been doing some really good laps here. It's been closing us in two seconds or one and a half seconds each lap. So we've had to watch out for that. Um, but yeah, this could be a game changer. Hulkenberg is into the lead now as we um, start lap 26. Now you can see into the, into the first corner we go. We've got a massive um, pushing now to catch him. We're looking up already as we're going to shred the tires to pieces. We skip later on to the last lap of the Grand Prix. We bounce up on the curb there. Still getting that turning correctly. We're three tenths purple in the first sector. We are flying here. This could mean anything in the championship. Just think. I know we're 100 odd points ahead and we've got four races we could retire and still lead but we just think won't if we had really bad results in that last five next five races and yeah then anything could mean at the end of the championship but we just don't know because when they can see we can come well, we're coming to the end of them um, sector two they're starting sector three as we went purple again but now this don't think it's gonna be enough to get Hulkenberg this is gonna be our first time losing in Italy I believe if we don't get him here I think Hulkenberg's gonna run away with this here into the final corner we go Hulkenberg's gonna hold it we've managed to close so much, it's been a very good effort from us but that, oh, the tire wear has cost us the Grand Prix and we've lost the Italian Grand Prix to Nico Hulkenberg who has won it, unbelievable stuff there, oh, that's so annoying there, but we've came through in P2 and we extend our championship lead, which I will take, but to be honest, I think that should have been an easy win, as you can see the four, um, Force India team boss are really happy with that result, Force India showed really good pace this year, they've been winning quite a few races, so it's really good to see Force India win like that. But yeah, there's Nico Hulkenberg, today's winner there, Town Grand Prix. Bet they weren't expecting that. But look at the time difference. Yeah, as you can see, we've done a 120 um, one something there, but you can see we're extending our championship lead to 108 points, a couple more points. Um, yeah, but we're staying there, and the constructors are looking good. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. Um, um, don't worry, the Korean more videos will be out in a couple of days' time as well. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.